How's it going, guys? Ghostface Fanatic here with another video, and in this video, we'll be ranking all the characters in Scream 2. So, if you guys did not watch my last video of Scream 1996, I suggest you to go back and watch that video as I do the same thing on, you know, on that video where I rank all the characters in that movie. But now, we're going to be ranking all the characters in Scream 2. So, let's get into it, guys. So, the first character that I'm going to start off with um, is um, Hallie. From, uh, so, Hallie. So, Hallie is obviously uh, Sydney's friend in this film, if you guys remember. She's uh, like her best friend. If you guys don't remember, um, she was... Obviously killed in this film. On the spectacle. I honestly thought she should have moved on. Because. Again she's Sydney's best friend. You know. And why the hell did they keep on. You know. They, they just never. Sydney never really had a happy ending. Let me just say. That's why I thought it would have been cool. But. Hallie was pretty damn good. I would say. She was pretty good. Pretty good. So, if I had to be honest with you, I'll give her a 10. I'll give her a 10. So. Okay, guys. We're going to move on now to the next. Um. So, the character that Omar Epps played. I forget his name, guys. Don't. I forgot his name. I watched Scream 2 so many times. And I can't believe I forgot their names. Him and Jada Pink is name in, the, in Scream 2. Uh, but I'll uh, start off with Omar Epps. His character. So obviously we know his character was killed off. Obviously in the beginning. Along with Jada Pink. Um, I think they did pretty damn good. Our Omar Epps did it pretty damn good, you know. Um, the opening scene was pretty damn, pretty damn good, honestly. I think it was different, you know. At least it wasn't like the first screen movie. Um, it was obviously in the movie theater, which was kind of cool. So, he did pretty damn good. So, I'll give him a 9. I'll give him a 9, a decent 9. Um, so, so Omar Epps' character is going to get a decent nine. Okay, next up we got Jada Pinkett's character. Now, Jada Pinkett's character is obviously the girlfriend of Omar Epps' character in this film. As I said, I, I forgot their names, guys. Uh, I don't remember their names by heart in this movie. Um, I can't believe I forgot. Um, or maybe their names are not even mentioned. I don't even remember. I watched Screen 2 so many times, guys. Um, I don't even remember. That's crazy. Me being a Screen fan, you know. But, Jada Pinkett, um, her character did a pretty damn good job, I, I, I think, as well. I think it was kind of cool how Ghostface how he killed uh, Omar Epps' character and he put on his coat or whatever and he sat all, he sat right next to Jada Pinkett's character and he had like his coat on and shit and to make her think it was him but it wasn't and then all of a sudden he just stabs her in the stomach and then find out he's actually the real killer like he's the real like killer so like that's actually, that was pretty damn good, in my opinion. I think that was a pretty good ass scene. Um, I don't mean like killer, like Omar Epps was a killer. I just mean that like Omar Epps, Ghostface stole the stole his coat basically and put it on to mimic to mimic him basically and think you know get her thinking that it was him, but it wasn't like. Because he was already... He had the mask on already. He he had the mask, so... 
Anyways, guys, yeah, so Jada Pinkett's character will get a a 10, or I'll give her a 9 as well. You know, if I give if I gave Omar S's character a 9, I'm going to give her a 9 also. So, number 9 for her. Okay, guys, so coming up next, we got the Sorority Sisters. Now, these girls, the Sorority Sisters did pretty good, damn good job. Now, the only problem that I had was that they did not get a phone call. They did not get, like, a chase scene. At least, you know. It's kind of weird. But, as I said, they, they're they obviously still alive. Um, so, it's not under the possibility that they could come back. I don't think. Because, they're obviously still alive if you... Go back to screen two. They don't even get killed or nothing. So they don't even get a phone call. Or get chased. So if I'm being honest. I think they were uh, definitely a nine as well. Um, They did pretty damn. I, I really enjoyed them a lot. Um, That would have been cool if there was like a twist. If they were actually the killers. You know. But. Didn't happen. So. But anyways, so I'm going to give them a 9 because they did a pretty good. They were pretty good too. So, okay. Moving on to the next one. Um, Derek. Um, Cindy's boyfriend in screen too. So, he was pretty, like I said, man, he was pretty good too. I really enjoyed his, enjoyed him. The only problem that I had again. Was that they killed him. You know. They had to kill him. And I, don't, I didn't really like that as much. Because he. He was Sydney's boyfriend right. And. I think she deserved more of a happy ending. In my opinion you know. And he could have. He should have lived. You know. He could have lived. You know at least until. You know screen three at least. Or just never died at all I mean. But people said that he was, he, you know, that people thought that he was going to be the killer. And I think they actually had written in that he was. That he was going to be the killer. Obviously, they changed it, though. So, very interesting. So, if I'm going to give Derek a rate, uh, a ranking, I'm going to give him a 10. Because his performance, uh, Jerry O'Connell, the actor, he did a Words can't describe, man. He did a good-ass job in that film. I'm sorry. He just did. Um, So, I'm going to give him a 10. Okay. Coming up next, we got Randy Meeks. And you may ask, well, why are you adding Randy Meeks to this list? Well, because Randy Meeks actually dies. And the reason why I didn't add the other three... Uh, Sydney, Gail, and Dewey because they're the OG three, and they're they were in every a screen film, so that's why I didn't add them. So, but Randy died in this film, so that's why I added them, added him to this list. So we're gonna be ranking Randy Meeks now. It was kind of a a shock that he died so soon. As I said, I don't think he should have died. You know, I think that he should have lived on and been, you know, he should have been in Scream 3, you know, at least. Um, he just died way too soon, man. He, he, it just seemed like he didn't really have that much of a character development, you know. He was just in Scream 1996 and he just, he just died in Scream 2. Like, um, he just gets killed off. Which is really crazy. Um, I wish he wouldn't have died. Uh, they were actually going to go the route that he survived actually. And that he's his family hit him or something like that. They were actually going to do that. But then they decided to keep him dead. But that raises the question, you know. Is he really alive or is he dead? I mean, I think he possibly could be alive. <laughs> he could be the mastermind, you know, behind all the murders. Honestly. Um, but if I'm going to rank him. Because he's a great character. He's my favorite. So 
if I'm gonna, you know, rank him, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna rank him, I'm gonna give him a 10, because he's my favorite. He was my favorite, and I truly think that he died too soon. I mean, come on, guys. He's the rules guy, you know? And maybe he got killed. I'm just theorizing here. Maybe he got killed because he didn't know the rules. Maybe because he didn't know the rules. You know what I mean? So, maybe that could be the case. But, I gave Randy, I'm giving Randy a 10. Because he was just a great character and I love the character. He's my favorite. So, Randy a 10. Um... So, coming up next, we got the uh, police officer named um, I can't believe. Oh, Officer Hartley, I think his name. Yeah, Chief Hartley. Um, if you guys don't know, that's actually David Arquette's real father in real life. The guy who played uh, Sheriff Hartley. Um, that's, uh, David Arquette's real father. Didn't know if you guys actually knew that or not, but, um, yeah, he was pretty damn good as well. Um, I think he could potentially come back as well, you know, and maybe do something, a little something. Like I said, it's not under the realm of possibility, man. It, it It's a possibility. You know, it it really is. I mean, you just think about that. Like I said, I talked about Sheriff Berg in the last video. Um, potentially returning when I ranked all the characters in Scream nineteen ninety six. I said that Sheriff Burke could potentially come back because uh, Sheriff Bracker he came back. You know, he was in nineteen seventy eight Halloween, and he came back to Halloween Kills, and and I said how. How much that was a pot, you know, I said that basically it was a possibility. And I really do think it is, man. It really is. I mean, if you really think about it, you know, if Chief Hartley did not die, Sheriff Burke did not die, they could both come back. Um, And maybe they could collab. Ooh, that'd be great. They collab together. So I'm just going to get to the ranking here. So the ranking that I give them is... A 10. I give him a 10. Because he, like I said, Scream 2 is a great movie. You know? Aside from do, uh, aside from Randy's death, you know? Like, it was a great-ass movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, So I'm giving her a 10. For greatness. Um, so yes, coming up next, we got Joel the Cameraman. Joel the cameraman. Now, Joel is another character, like I said. Um, he's another character that I um want to see come back. As I said, I don't know if I ranked him already. Did I, guys? If I did, if I did, oh well, I guess I'll rank him again. Um. So Joel, like I said, he's. I want him to come back as I think that he's um, Martha Meeks' uh, husband, as I said. Um, I think he's, he could be potentially in a relationship with Martha Meeks. And I talked about like how he could return and all that um, in this next installment, Scream 6. Um, but yeah, Joel was actually a great character. Uh, obviously, you know, he survived. He did not get killed. Um, he did not get killed, like, at all. So, um, he's still alive. He's still out there, so. I know he'll, the actor, um, if he wants to come back, he'll come back. I'm sure he will. Um, the guy who played him, but. I really want Joel to come back. I want him to be in a relationship with Martha, honestly. I really do, man. I think it makes a lot of sense. But anyways, guys, I'm going to um, rank him a 10. 
because he's great as a son. So, we got a couple more, I think. So, um, the next one will be um, ranking CC Cooper. Now, she was pretty damn good as well. Um, she got killed in the most brutal way, man. She got thrown off that damn balcony. Man, you could argue that it was uh, Billy's mother that did it. You could argue that Mickey did it, but realistically, I don't think that Billy's mother would be able to lift that much weight and toss a body down, like off a balcony. You know, I just don't, I just don't buy that. Um, so honestly, I think it was Mickey, and and that Billy Loomis's mother killed. Uh, he, she killed Randy for sure. I know she for sure killed Randy because she even said. So, um, so if I'm going to rank her, I'll rank her a decent eight because like I said, she was not in the movie. I would rank her lower, but Scream 2 is such a great film and that's just too bad she wasn't in the movie enough, you know, to be a number 10. So... I'll give her eight. So CC Cooper is gonna get an eight. Um okay, the last but not least, guys, is uh we're gonna be ranking the bodyguards. The two detectives. Chief Hartley's detectives. I forget their names though. I don't remember their names. <laughs> um those guys are pretty good. They were a big part of the mystery like they're a big part in the, you know, trying to Solved the mystery and all that, which I loved. Um, obviously, that's what detectives are supposed to do. Um, they did pretty good. Um, they obviously get killed off. Uh, one of them gets their throat slit, and then the other one gets a fucking pipe jammed in his head. Um, don't got. I don't know if you guys remember that scene, but that scene was brutal. That was probably the most creative kill in the whole, like in the whole franchise, in my opinion. Hands down. But. If I'm being honest. I think I'll give them. I'll give them probably a decent 7 or 8. Because they did not talk that much. You know. They didn't really talk that much. But their role in the movie was pretty damn good. So I'll give them an 8. A decent 8. So. I'll give the, uh, the detectives an 8. Chief Hartley's detectives. So, they're going to get an 8 for sure. So, anyways, guys. I think that's going to about wrap this video up. Hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel if you guys haven't already. Um, this is Ghostface Fanatic. I just ranked all the characters in Scream 2. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And give me your, your comments down below what you guys think. And tell me what what you would rank the characters. And tell me if you agree or disagree. With that being said, guys, have a great day. Peace.